Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I am so thankful you're here with us today. Check out our other videos and join us daily. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification to check out our shorts. N not our shorts we wear, the shorts on YouTube. Anyhow, <laughs> what is conversion? Well, conversion, you know, that's a state of debate, especially in the modern Pentecostal and apostolic movement. What is conversion? And let me just share with you, I'm apostolic Pentecostal, so I'm going to do it from that point of view. Even if you're not, you may want to listen in, learn some things about what we think and that type thing. So, um, back 40s, 50s, 30s, 1930s, 40s, 50s, uh, what you'd have, you'd have the greater Christian world. America was overwhelmingly Christian. Uh, all polls show that and that type thing from that time period. But obviously very few people were believed the apostolic faith and even that definition is different. There's in the Pacific Northwest, there's apostolic faith. In Nigeria, there's apostolic faith. But I'm, I'm talking about Acts 2.38, Wedness, Holiness, People. And so many people would refer to the broader Christian world that they were converted. They had given their minds to Jesus. They were seeking to follow the Bible. They may have family devotions. They believed Jesus was God. But they did not have the full born again experience. And so over the course of time, America has kind of shifted, you know, not as many people identify as Christian as America, obviously, as did in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and that type thing. And so some people that have come after term conversion, they're looking at a more biblical, you know, Acts 3.19, repent to be converted that your sins may be blotted out when times of refreshing shall come from uh, the Lord. And so they're using the term conversion in a more biblical fashion, which obviously there's nothing wrong with that. So you had old timers that referred to conversion, just you know, trying to talk to people, communicate to people, saying conversion, they didn't necessarily mean it in a biblical sense, they were just using an English language sense, meant people who legitimately seemed to have a sincere relationship with God, but weren't fully apostolic the way we understand fully apostolic is. And so I've noticed there's this tension because I'm 57, but I was raised by a bunch of old timers. Tommy Kraft, uh, Sam Latta, Brother Urshan came preached for me. J.T. Pugh used to come preach for me yearly. So I've got a lot of old time. Brother Kilgore used to come to JCM when I was there in the 80s. Brother Tinney. And so I've got a Brother Cole, Billy Cole. A lot of... Uh, Chester Wright, a lot of old-time Pentecostal influences in me. O.W. Williams, his grandson was our music director, youth minister, and, and all of this. So I, I've got a lot of old-time Pentecost in me. And so I remember how they used the term conversion when I'd go to general conferences and business sessions in the 1990s and all that. And so, but I've noticed some tension that people are wanting the term conversion to be used in a more biblical sense. And uh, so sometimes I feel like I'm kind of a bridge between this older generation of your G.R. Travis's and I can't even remember the guy's name from Oklahoma. Brother Waylon, what a wonderful man, been in his office, great people. Uh, you know, and uh, Vaughn Mortons and the uh, guy that was the superintendent for the Western District for so long, Paul Price. Can't rem couldn't remember his name because that was my pastor's pastor. So Brother Price came preached for us and stuff like that. And, and, and new generations. And so I'm, I'm just trying to clarify that sometimes, especially somebody my age that kind of was older, when I say the term converted, I don't look at converted and saved as synonymous. I don't. I'm using the term conversion more like they used it, just conversing in language that somebody that has some relationship with God, some identification with the things of God, the Bible. And I'm not using it in a strict biblical sense in meaning every time I use it, say, now I may in the future be more judicious in my phraseology 
because I'm realizing the world has shifted as well. And I do want to do a biblical study on the term conversion, converted, those type things, because I don't think every cognate of converted and all that is not in Scripture. Some of it is just nomenclatura that we use amongst ourselves. Some, you know, like we want a move of God. Well, what does that Holy Spirit fall and all of this well he fell on the day of pentecost is he falling again you know uh, i'm thinking of that lanny wolf song the rain is falling again you know just like the day of pentecost anyhow so that's so conversion biblically is a full acts 238 experience living for god and conversion in casual language is just people who are living for God in some sense and accept certain principles and tenets of the broader Christian faith. So God bless. We love you. Thanks for being here. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.